Audi tries to move back, having lapped the Ferrari and take the line for the corner, and he completely misjudges it, charges the Ferrari off into the barrier. Let's and have that, a look at it, shall Santa's. we? Let's... And Loses that the is rear end. not a place where you want to go off, and you can see that wet grass is still so damp. He actually accelerated when he hit the grass. Is. That is a huge hit, and the S is, is a portion of the circuit that's flat in most vehicles and very, very fast. I'm not... I, I question if he maybe just clipped a wheel off the side. Ah, da fällt er zurück auf Platz 4 und von hinten kommt Iva Moller und es ist Tom Chilton. Oh, da lehnen sich die Herrschaften aber schön ineinander an. Ja, vor allem die nächste Kurve wird eng oh, und da oh, ist oh, Taquini oh. raus. Schwerer oh, Abflug von Gabriele Taquini und der Franz Engstler da noch rein. Scheiben, Mann. Da hat das gescheppert, mein lieber Schulz. Taquini wurde voll auf die Hörner genommen, hat sich fast überschlagen. Ist gleich mal in Führung. Luca Ludwig biegt als erster ein und er wird ein Mercedes SLS aber mal richtig getroffen und er geht mal gleich über das Dach. Und bleibt Kopf über. Kommt dann, zieht ganz nach außen mit den grünen Markierungen. Lance David Arnold trifft da hinten. Dann entsprechend das Auto von Black Falcon. Robert Renauer sitzt da am Steuer, der sich das Cockpit mit Kenneth Hyatt teilen wollte. Aber das sieht... of our screen. Yeah, Bernani makes a good start. Coronel tries to cut him off. He just tries to keep closing the door. He can feel Bernani's there, yeah. but keeps trying to come across on him. Unfortunately, I think Coronel fell on his own sword on that one. You can't close the door when someone's there. Oh, that was Muller's counter. The car just doesn't stop on the grass. Oh, what a nasty red flag is out. The red flag is out. The race has been stopped. There's only one lap to go, but there are two laps. Realizes no one is at home when he hits that brake pedal door. So he takes evasive action, but he's going straight. He can't really scrub any speed. Cross the gravel trap. No. Uh, he would have been pumping that brake pedal like mad. That's what he was doing, trying to shake some speed off of the car. Look at that. Oh. That's well into the, you know, over 100 mile per hour hit right here. Probably uh, one. So inevitável. Inevitável essa batida aqui. Piloto aqui do carro número 65, Vitor Correia. O Vitor Correia pegou o meio do carro do número 50 por aqui, mas sem dó, sem chance. Parece que os pilotos estão bem, né? Ah, essa é a nossa carro. principal preocupação agora. É, então, mas é, o carro com certeza aí, os dois ficaram bem danificados. Graças a Deus aí, tá tudo certo com os pilotos, estão saindo bem do carro, mas foi uma banca forte mesmo, hein? Tá. E é estranho, ele porque parece que ele ficou... Ele foi por dentro! É, parece alguma falta de freio, alguma coisa, porque foi muito estranho. De repente ele puxou, de uma vez só para dentro. Oh, we've got contact there. That was Ouch. between two of the Porsches. It looks like that's the number 48 Porsche. Wow. That's a GT car together with the car. Oh, the huge crash with Enrique Cisneros. Oh, and, desperate. Or, or, and, and, and did you see the 36 the... move down just a little bit? And Yaley and, uh, and Stenhouse thought he could squeeze by on the, uh, next to the wall, and he just couldn't make it. And this kid's ugly. Watch his thing. Right on top of Ryan Newman. Hadn't Ryan Newman had cars on top of him before here? I think uh, the 2009 race. I think you're right. Brad Keselowski and Carl Edwards coming to the checkered flag. Boyers 15 comes up, clogs the track. Both oh, this could be ugly. Oh, back up across the track. Oh, big damage. Oh, okay. A number of cars collected. Dave Blaney, Greg Biffle. Yeah, man, whenever and you see a car coming back fire. across a racetrack like that, you know it's going to be a bad deal. Travis Quaffle nowhere to go. Wow. 
think about how great Biffle has been in recent weeks and simply nothing he could do about that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. He got tagged by uh, Kurt Busch, went down on the apron. When he came back up on the racetrack, he got into the left rear of Brad. Nothing Brad could do, like you said. But at that point, Ferrari. Oh. An Überschlag des Toyotas und dann natürlich auch noch der Ferrari, der geht auch noch auf den Kopf. Ein Riesenunfall hier. Aber im Grunde war der Pilot von Wolf Racing, Nils, auf Abwägen. Das geht nicht gut. Das geht gar nicht gut. Reinhard Nils. Um Gottes Willen, aber ich sage Ihnen jetzt schon die Autos. Here we go. Wow, Pete Barber looped that baby and smacked the wall hard. Throttle goes wide open. Pete whacked it there. Gets it under control. Troy out of the throttle. Coast to it. 909. But Pete Barber left the starting line. That baby rattled the tire. Well, a little bit wild to start with with Stefano Zanini and Antonio Martinez making contact. There is Julian Brichet. You see him just to the back of your screen on the right hand side. And he turned in and just got tagged. It flipped the car over, dispatched the rear wheel, goes over once, and slides then on his roof into the gravel trap.